Yeah, hello friends of Komodo platform and price charts and get Orox. And I'm gonna share my screen here. My name is E. Giuliano, it's the 28th of April. And you know, time rolls forward, time rolls forward. The theme of this video is long-term technical analysis and reasoning as to why and how and in what technical sense KMD can make this 10x return as we currently sit around 4,500 Satoshis. So 4,600 Satoshis. This is very exciting. I yesterday okay so where are we where, what are we doing here let me let me clean a little bit of this up boom now this is some thinking from yesterday some more short-term thinking and then i want to think about long-term thinking this is the fibonacci time tool which figured out a little bit so i'm going to share with you here a little bit of short-term thinking yes I know short term might look like a bit of a dump. This is KMD BTC uh, on the Bittrex chart. This gives us the most long term data. So I'm thinking, okay, look, the most recent impulse is this one right here. This this down move and then this up move. Uh, pardon me. So the most the most recent impulse before this up move. Okay is this down move, okay? So I'm, I, I, I wanna understand this up move impulse here. Oops, I have, I have I, I've put them in my toolbar. Look, I have my brush here, I got the little star, it puts it in the bar and we're off to go way, way far. This impulse here retraced now if we think about it as a wave this this allows the one that we're interested in it we get to treat it as a retracement if we do that using the fibonacci tool so what we've done here is we have taken our fibonacci retracement tool we go to the beginning we reach roughly the peak so i'm going to go to that level boom and we see here that the 618 level is being retraced did we touch it perfectly um no not quite uh so it's not perfect yet so again we might well, here's the thing we did. Look, let's take the bar chart. See, this is the thing about the lines. The lines don't always give you uh, what you need to know, but sometimes they give you deja vu. Look at this thing. It really actually, if we look on a, uh, wow, on a shorter time frame, it really did retrace far, didn't it? Uh, way past the one over here. So that's interesting. That's very interesting. Let's give it a weekly, a weekly view. It's interesting. This has a 10 day view and all this kind of stuff. Okay. 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 So weekly, the bodies, cause we're looking long-term here is around the 81. Interesting. 81, seven, eight, six. Uh, but anyway, we, 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 we did a, a big full retracement uh, from this movement down if we want to look at it like that okay that's what we were looking at on the monthly here's the view on the weekly and then what i was thinking is okay so 618 is just a general idea level it's not doesn't have to be the specific idea level uh it could be a, a 38 a 0.5 could go like we just saw to the one two three six so are we going to go lower than we previously did i i don't know. I don't think so. But some form of double bottoming or testing it would be nice if it's a higher low. That would be very nice. Uh, and then I'm going to make the case for a 10x from here. 
Uh, so if we, so I said here, the pink wave down is around the, the 61.8 retracement. Um, but if we really take a look here, uh, it actually went a lot higher. If we take intra month activity, if we go to the monthly again, um, whoops. We'll go to the month, you see it's not very strong activity within this range anyway, okay? So really 618 region is a good call. So, and I mean, it wicks. Komodo loves to wick. Look at all these wicks over here. Boom, 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 boom. If you like to trade KMD, this is, a, this is definitely a good one for trading, yeah? So now we take, whoops, what did we do? I don't even know what I just did. Oh, what, a, what an, oh, I just got rid of the, um, okay, doesn't matter. All right, so now we're looking at this move. Okay, let's go back to the line and we'll say, fine, we'll take a, a retrace of this retrace. And what we get is, I'll move down to the 3000 level ish. If we take now, oh, I always go to the left, that's my habit, but if I've taken it, I use this a lot it's up here in my, in my favorites and it's ready to go. Uh, and I go here from the bottom to the top and roughly, whoops. I mean, I went a little bit more carefully the last time, but the 618 you can see is roughly around the 3000 level, okay? Um, yeah, it's not exact, it's not pure. And remember, even these monthly lines, like we saw that wick, it goes super high. So these are just general ideas, but I'm thinking bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Now, long-term. So this is a kind of more of a short-termer thing, uh, but wow, this arrow, this purple arrow is not the time. I, I don't know what the time will look like um, because, well, let's talk about time for a moment. Uh, if we want to talk about time, we'll use the fib time tool, which is up here. And that measures it on the horizontal scale. This is the horizontal scale here. This is our time axis. And it's going to give us, mm, let's say from about here, the from here to here, we stopped. And if you notice, these are Fibonacci numbers. So zero, one, and we don't repeat the one, we get the two, the three, the five, the eight, whatever. That's what we're using it. So if that's the case, then maybe it's gonna last until July. And, uh, you know, it just doesn't mean it's going down until July, go down and up and down and up and down, and down but, you know, something around the beginning of July, it seems like a nice time period. If this does continue down, we're talking KMD, BTC, that's the, the chart we're working with here, okay? Uh, and yeah, so that's an interesting idea. Um, and then I wanna show you long-term and then I'm gonna get out of here, okay? So we're gonna get rid of that. So you see these time levels, we can keep the time levels there for now. I wanna show you something that I, I thought of here. Okay, so then let's take the retracement of the whole move. Yeah, let's try that. All right, so to do that, we wanna take our Fibonacci tool. Let's say the move starts here, okay, roughly. You can always clean it up after. So, and then we say it ends here. Oops. There, roughly. Now, where, friends, is the 618? It's around the 46,000. So, how cool would that be? How freaking cool would that be if we get now in the macro level? Look at these moves. Look at these moves over here on the left. You see these, right? And, 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 and so if you're looking at a Binance chart, you only see from about here, okay? This uh, November 17, November 2017 move that goes up to December, January, and then crash down. Look at this, look at this. So if we're thinking here that we can get some, some sort of move, we can consider it like a retracement move. I, I don't know. And then maybe a retracement move in terms of a longer term corrective structure, okay, that takes us into 2022, 2023, but it's a corrective structure and it can work its way up here 
and down and up and down and, and who knows what it'll work out. But the fact of the matter of a potential to, okay, at least get up here to the, uh, the 18 to 20,000 level as a retracement. So that's what we need to start thinking like now, okay? If, we invert the scale and we think, okay, maybe this is the top, right? I mean, here's the, the absolute, uh, uh, nearly the asymptote right here, up top here. Okay, we're not going to that asymptote and past it, we can't. So this asymptote here is um, giving us really a ceiling. So down seems to be the right move and the right move down is yes to you know the 10,000 Satoshi level, but really it's we start getting to the 236 level around the 18,000 level Satoshi. Okay, so already we're talking about a four to five X and then, and this is not even, maybe, maybe we'll chop back down or whatever we're gonna do here. Okay, then later on, we're definitely going to this, to this 382.5 and then, I want to see this 6818 level. In fact, okay, look, what it really becomes is we get down to the 382 level and then we create noise, huge amount of noise up and down between the 382 and the 786. That's really what it is. That's the idea that I'm thinking now. Now that I'm looking at this between here and here, it's just up, down. We can definitely do that. Okay. Mm, so, what would be the scenario for that? Um, the scenario for that might be, the scenario for that might be, um, a corrective move before we move higher, because remember we are inverted. So if we get up in here and we do our first corrective move, okay, that's like in our new uptrend, let's imagine at some point because like I said, we have this now floor, as, uh, asymptotic floor. And so, oh, I keep going to the left, come on, you guys, habits are hard to break, right? So we're all thinking KMD, KMD. So if we are eventually going up there, okay. We uh, now I can imagine, now I can start to imagine what a violent move up would mean. It would mean some sort of corrective move in the overall structure. We do a correction, okay. Maybe we're not getting there yet. Maybe that's not part of the overall correction. Maybe first it's like up here and then and then it's down and whatever, right? And we do our thing, okay? This is our correction, okay? Um, and then, and then, woohoo, woohoo, woo. No, not even, like boom, we just freaking get up there with a nice impulse move, whoops. Get up there with a nice impulse move, okay? Hit somewhere here eventually, right? Uh, and then after that, spend some time. We said we would go like up and down, boom. And then who knows, right? And then I think after that, um, it would must have to be a new high. It must have to be a new high, okay? So if we start thinking of a new high, I don't know what the timing would look like, but it's interesting that uh, he's maybe this would have to like you come on, you gotta have some freaking complex things going on here. Maybe uh, 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 whatever it's gonna do, you know, um, maybe, you know, whatever. I don't know what it's gonna do. Uh, with some sort of zigzag in between or something like that, right? Um, and then, yeah, and then maybe, I mean, this is just based on this one small, uh, sorry, this one small, This these Fibonacci times are not based on anything that I, so now we're into 2024, right? But now we're also talking about moving on ahead of uh, BTC high, all-time highs. Um, but I think that makes sense. I think that makes a lot of sense, right? To me, it makes sense. Uh, to me, it makes sense. To me, it makes sense. I don't know if this is what's gonna happen. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. 
oh, this would be incredible. This would be hilarious. This would be freaking insane. Um, and that's all I got to say about that. Oh yeah, the time thing. That was just based on this one movement here, this first up move. But that would make sense if we are talking like, okay, we've made our first little impulse. Here are some waves of expansion uh, of the Fibonacci uh, cause and effect timing waves. Who knows? All right. Anyway, interesting thoughts. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're enjoying your KMD life, Komodo life. I hope you're doing something within at least one of the Komodo ecosystem projects, uh, participating in the community, mm, either productively or at least just with your energy and your time and your presence. Whew, yeah, this is for the long term. Stick around, you know. That's this is this is going to be interesting. Let's stick around for a few years and see what happens. All right. Uh, I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope this made sense on some level. Take care of yourselves, huh? Stay healthy, stay wealthy, stay wise. Disperse those chips. Let's get as many trading pairs for chips going. All the Komodo ecosystem coins. Get some trading pairs against chips. MCL, get some trading pairs against chips. VRSC, get some trading pairs against chips. Uh, our, we're, those are... Well, it's not as easily facilitated through Atomic Dex yet. And yeah, of course, the KMD. Yeah, go for it. Come on, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Shout outs. All right. Peace out, everyone. Stay hydrated. Move around, you know. Yeah. Enjoy your personal relationships. Yeah. Take care. All right. Bye for now. I'm Juliano. Peace.